So this is a video how I'm going to fix my Ultima battery with a new Ultima battery charger. My Ultima battery on the Corvette, it won't charge. So let's see. I have a Corvette charger overnight. It's reading 13.64. Okay. Open the car. Trunk. Say so it drops. 12.83. Instantly. I'm going to unplug it. The Corvette uh, battery tender from GM. This is the Corvette battery tender. Okay, I'm going to try to start the engine. But I don't think I can because it's something like a stone. It's crazy. Okay, Let's see if I can start the engine. Can't start the engine. Okay, so we know the battery is bad. I'm going to remove. What's the reading right now? It's 10 and 10 volts, 10.5 volts. It won't start the engine. At least I'm not on the C7 Corvette. So I'm going to remove this thing and use Ultima battery tender charger to rescue their battery it's just not happening okay Unbox this the ultimate battery is going to send me a replacement battery but for the new battery i still need to be able to charge it if they went low that's the reason i got this back i went online saw the owner's manual and so i can explain this to you guys as soon as i get it you're supposed to read owner's manual which i already did and i all the instruction manual too it's very cool you come with uh, the yellow top, of course that's the one we have, or ordinary battery, acid battery, and the world does all the testing. And the ground kits, it's in the back, I believe. All the stuff is in the back. Here, so I'm gonna try to hook it up. Just a very quick showing guys who have C7. You have to remove these two bolts, remove the plate off. Uh, actually, you don't really need to take this piece off, you can just charge the battery straight on that. But this connects to the other circuit. And as for the bag, you need to pop this out and charge the battery straight onto the lid. Uh, otherwise, you'll damage the electronic inside of this. For normal maintenance, tending, it's okay. For rescue a dead battery, to juice it up, you need to do all that to remove all this. So the battery is standing alone. Okay. Okay, I set the camera up so we can do this. I got the negative removed right here and positive. I just left there. And I also did is I used one of the drill, Dremel, clean up all the connections. So make sure there's no crust or debris left. Get a good connection when we hook this back up. Let's go ahead and just test out the battery on its own. What do we get right now? What's the voltage? We get 12.35 volt. Okay, earlier it dropped down to 10 volt during cranking and the engine won't start. So that wasn't a good thing. Now, um, let's go ahead and hook up the Optima battery. We're gonna hook this straight up to the battery and of course we, we isolate the battery down already to just by itself at the moment so without pulling the battery out which takes a lot of work i'm just gonna charge the battery here but it's not hooked up to the car okay so what you're supposed to do is do the positive part first positive right here they also have a protection in case you hook up the wrong side so this is the positive connection and the negative connection right here you're supposed to wear safety glass negative to negative positive to positive and this is a bad ultima battery but according to NAND, most of the battery just won't charge because it's a AGM battery. And Ultima have their own system to work out. Then you plug in, let me show you guys this. You plug in this right after you hook all those up. So I do it now. Okay. Can freeze this thing on the screen. Okay, make a quick selection. It's a yellow top. As we know it. And we'll do the pre-battery check. Analyzing the battery, it's gonna take a little while. Still analyzing. I'm gonna put the Ultima battery straps back to the box. I'm picking between the 400 and 1200. Basically, the difference is um, the 1200 has more power to 
to kill, uh, to jump start battery, but they can both do to the 400 series or the 1200 series. So I might end up getting the 12 400 series and return this. So this battery is bad. It says it's 75%. I'm not sure it is true. Um, it says a 13.8 volt right there, and it's charging. I don't want it to charge. Right now it's charging at 6.1. I kind of just want to... I kind of want to see what the battery is like before I start charging it. Maybe I'll, I'm going to unplug it and try it again. Unplug. And plug it back in. And I'm going to do battery pre-check. So it's battery normal. 13 volts well we can't start the engine with it there's no no crank at all but it says battery is normal which i think there's an issue okay so it says battery is normal it's not dead but it won't start a car so let's go ahead and went back to the yellow gotta do this analyze thing again save you some time but it will charge right after this uh, whatever voltage you need to charge and enbridge see if they can bring this battery back to life currently it's running on the 13 0.9 volt and 3.3 .3 amperage okay hopefully it charges full right now it is um, about three o'clock in the afternoon let's see what time this thing finished charge so this particular battery has been dinged uh, they did a low test on this only crank out 500 uh, cranking power instead 870 or 800 so 800 supposed to be 800 only crank about 500 so it won't start a car and the voltage drops down to 10 volts. Um, they fresh off the charge overnight. I cannot start a car. Period. There's no cranking power. So, um, yeah, it's a. Hopefully, this thing will revive this. Hopefully, and see. Right now, I just check again. The timing is 3:41. So we'll start with 3:40 for the charging and see how long this will take to get a full charge and be done with it. So I went ahead. Uh, there's a fairly long cord. I placed the uh, charger here, run the cord out, and put all the stuff out here. Um, I just tried out a um, very special cord that you can hook up to the battery for a permanent uh, battery maintainer. Um, the first section goes about this far to the Corvette, so it's, it's a short one, but you can plug that plug in. And the second line is long enough to reach all the way here. It's about five, about six footer, I believe, and the machine, if I keep that, machine can actually sit here and I can just plug in through the hook, through the trunk and close the trunk so that's that it's a very great but it is $200 um, I think the only reason I'll be needing this is if the battery died like this otherwise I'll get a 400 model to maintain the battery uh, for half a price actually less than half a price it's $80 versus $200 but this does have a lot more power something very interesting just happened you don't see in other reviews after 20 minutes, it turned into conditioning the 12 volt Optima battery. The amperage has dropped to 0.8 instead of 3 and 4. Voltage still stays at 14.1, but currently it's conditioning the battery. Not sure what it does. Could be uh, it's the algorithm is doing what it does is, I think from the, the other people's review, they don't show this, but I believe in other people's review, it helped to take out the crystallization in that battery. That is a brand new battery though. This battery was installed a few months ago, sitting in the car, and just drains away. Of course, it's a plug into the charger, Corvette charger, the whole time. Um, but still drains away for some reason. I believe it's just the wrong tender. Even with the brand new Ultima battery, yellow top, with the wrong tender, uh, the Ultima battery will still die. So, let's see. Or just a bad battery, I don't know, I, I, I have no idea. I get this, just see if I can revive it. Uh, the Ultima people are sending me a brand new battery. But according to their website or the, their videos a lot of battery just fully discharged and then of course it's need a different type of charger to do this let's zoom in again this is going to be a long video zoom in again it says 14.1.4 volt still conditioning very interesting because right now it's not charging it's doing something else what are you doing are you trying to fix it please fix it